Five years ago, this man was working at Enterprise, renting cars out during the day, while at night driving his own car all over Central Texas, training promising young soccer players. But his journey actually begins much earlier than that on a completely different continent. Tucked away off US 183 sits the Homestead Shopping Center. There you'll find familiar places like Petco and Barnes and Noble, but you'll also find a place good. That was very good. That seemingly looks out of place. Welcome to First Touch. Welcome to First Touch. Yes, come on in. Yes, a soccer academy in a shopping center. If you're not here, I don't know what are you doing. Who would have thought? You smash goals, you take these home. Simple as that. Well, touch the ball, dribble, dribble, little shimmy. This guy. My name is Teddy Vickers. Oh, my boy. Yes, sir. Teddy Vickers. Good finish. Smash it. Good guys. Owner and operator of First Touch Soccer Academy, a cathedral for ballers only. This place is a, a community place where kids come to, you know, elevate their playing ability from the, where they at to take it to the next level. Vickers says his training facility basically acts as a bridge. Yes, sir! Hey, that was beautiful. Between local right competitive soccer players. Exactly, right there, flush water, right there, quiet. And aspiring professionals. We have fresh new concepts with fresh ideas and good training, you know. Training inside. Oh, that was good. And outside. It's outside, fresh air. I mean, it's, it's Austin, beautiful weather. Teddy, building confidence. Oh. Teddy has taught me to be more daring during the game. I feel like I'm less timid as well. While also making sure his students remember to have fun. I've got a lot of smiley face, my favorite balloons. Why? I wanted to remember people. It's a joyful place to smile, have fun. I always think that when you come in here, it's always a positive vibe. But those vibes did not just happen overnight. In fact, Teddy's story begins 8,500 miles away. I started as a youngster playing soccer in the streets of Ethiopia and that took me to to give me opportunity brought me to the United States. Yes, Teddy was born in Ethiopia. There is my nation, Ethiopia, green, yellow, red with the stars in the center. His parents working two jobs just to provide for the family. So at 11 years old, Teddy was adopted by the Vickers, a loving second family from Franklin, Texas. It was great opportunity for me and also I did want to come in, take the step to better myself and my family. Moving away, learning a brand new language, even learning how to eat new food. For like three months, I had really difficult time eating a lot of the different foods. Now, we're having pizza almost every other day. Much like his appetite for pizza, Teddy's journey in the States took time. Citizenship, soccer, degree. And then we got tornadoes. That's the school I went to, Concordia University in 6 and shout out to them. Now, a decked out facility. Fagundes, the man. Yes. For players of all ages. Good. More than 400 travel, some more than an hour, to better their game with the energized Ethiopian. Pass away, turn wide. Yes. Proud of the tenacity, being able to continue and being able to accomplish my dream in not in a way I thought in a soccer wise, but in actually a better way it worked out. It's, it's brilliant. Right here, future star, future star coming up. FC, call him up, Matthews. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that little guy's actually Teddy's five year old son. His name is Matthews. Teddy's wife, her name is Allie. They actually met back in Ethiopia six years ago. Really just an awesome story.